How often do new fishing kayak models hit the floor? When's the best time to buy new? When's the best time to buy used? Which is the best holidays? Should I hit up a trade show? These are all questions I needed to ask myself because I'm in the market for a new fishing kayak and I figure I'd take you along and show you what I found. Haha, <laughs> let's go! So with the pandemic came an onslaught of new kayak anglers to an already booming industry, which I think is just incredible. For a while there, it was hard to find a fishing kayak because the supply did not meet the demand. Now the great news is that has been easing up a little bit. Now if you're anything like me, whenever I ask the question, when's the best time to get a fishing kayak, I'm really asking when's the best time to get a deal, get the best fishing kayak I can for the lowest price. But for others of you, you might be thinking, hey, when's the best time to have the greatest selection that meets your needs when it comes to stability and weight capacities and all that. So we'll cover that. So let's answer this question, when do new fishing kayaks actually hit the floor? Now keep in mind, a lot goes into getting a fishing kayak to the store floor. You got research, you got testing, you got raising capital, you got figuring out supply chains, you got marketing campaigns. And because of this, it can take anywhere from 12 to 24 months to get a new fishing kayak model to the store floor, depending on how good the company is on figuring out all of those details. It also depends on the model. Or is the company changing that model significantly or is it just minor changes? But in most cases, a lot of these larger kayak fishing companies are going to get a new model out every spring about once every 12 months. So let's answer this question. When is the worst time to buy a fishing kayak? So if you're buying from a shop, the worst time to buy one is when demand is high and the inventory is dwindling. So if you're watching this video and it's May, June, July, or August, then those deals are going to be pretty difficult to come by unless you have a buddy who owns a shop. Right, there's a caveat to this because there actually are deals to be had during May, June, July, and August because a lot of kayak anglers are wanting to upgrade from their older kayaks to new kayaks and you can get a deal buying used. Here's my word of advice, however. So if you're on Facebook Marketplace, don't think you're going to be able to go back and forth four or five times with that seller because that fishing kayak will be pending before you get the answer to your first question. So be ready to move if that's your game plan. So logically, you might be thinking, well, the best time to buy a fishing kayak is during the winter. And if that's your thoughts, well, you're actually correct. Just like in car sales, if uh, you want to go the last day of the month on a rainy day uh, because they have quotas to meet. Well, in the kayak fishing realm, what is happening is that a lot of these retailers have these kayaks that are taking up a lot of real estate on their showroom floor. And with the new models coming here in the spring, they got to move these models off the floor. So you're going to get them at a discount. But the winter is not the only time you can get a deal on a kayak. Let me explain. But let's talk about which holiday is the best to find a fishing kayak. So if you're out there on Flag Day and Groundhog Day, well, I got unfortunate news for you. You are not going to be able to find a deal. So I'm going to share with you two holidays that are going to be best for finding a deal on getting that fishing kayak. And one is intuitive and the other one is not. So the first holiday that's intuitive is going to be the Christmas season. One, everybody has deals on everything because it's a buying season. And two, it's winter. So you have two things going for you here. I believe the best time to find the best deal on a fishing kayak is going to be during Christmas season. So the second holiday is a little less intuitive. It's Memorial Day and it's a little less intuitive because it's right at the beginning of the fishing season and everybody and their mother is trying to buy one. So what these retailers are doing is they're offering light sales during this time. They have a lot of inventory on the floor and they really just want to get feet in the door. Now, I believe you get a much better deal if you were to buy it six months earlier, but you can save a little bit of cash. But the beauty of Memorial Day is that all these new models are on the floor and you're going to have a lot broader of a selection when it comes to getting a kayak that fits your needs. So the next question I might be asking, do I actually need to hit up a trade show uh, in order to find a deal? Well, here's the thing. I don't think you're going to get a deal so much at a trade show as much as you're going to be able to see the latest and greatest models. A lot of times there's opportunity to try these models out. And though you may not be driving home with a new fishing kayak strapped to the top of your car, you are going to have a better idea and be able to make a better decision on the type of fishing kayak that you want. All right, so a couple things to consider if you're trying to save some cash. Ask for last year's model because a lot of the upgrades from, from year to year are negligible. Sometimes they're downright disappointing. And don't get me started on kayak fishing companies who take a high profile boat fisherman and try to pawn them off as a kayak fisherman. You're not fooling anybody. It's embarrassing and it makes me not want to buy your kayak. All right, so I relent. Uh, back to asking for last year's model. Uh, being that some of these model price differences can be, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars, uh, be sure to know the difference between last year's model and this model because what may mean something to one angler may mean crap to you. So keep that in mind. The second one is this, uh, know that some kayak fishing companies are notorious for never going on sale. So if you decide to buy a used, say a Facebook marketplace, expect to pay anywhere from 50% to 75% of the original retail value. Also, if you decide to buy used, please do not buy a used fishing kayak without watching this video. Buyer beware, used kayak fishing buying guide.